welcome to the part two of the video series on least common multiple and if you haven't watched the part one of this video series then i'll request you to go to the playlist the description of the playlist will be provided in the description below go to the playlist and watch the part one so that you can understand this part and in the part one i missed you know the reason i'm making this part two of the least common multiple is that i missed one very important way to calculate uh, LC, least common multiple that is LCM much easier than what we discussed in the uh, part one of the video so in the part one the second way that we had discussed was using the prime factorization method now in prime factorization method we were finding the prime factorization of numbers separately right in this example we are using the same example that we had used in the part one so Part two is just to you know tell another way to calculate, and in this what you will do is like rather than finding the prime factorization like here you uh, I mean we calculated the prime factorization of four and then of eight rather than calculating them separately and then finding the LCM what you will do is you will calculate the prime factorization of four eight or whatever number numbers are given together all together like i'll show you here so this is much easier way or the faster way to calculate lcm i'm just removing all this and so just remember that in this case 48 lcm was 8 right the lcm was 8 in this case so i'm just removing it i'm just removing it control x control x I'll just write here LCM LCM was 8 that we calculated in the part 1 of this video series now what I'm trying to tell you is you have 4 and 8 and you have to find the least common multiple what you will do is rather than finding the prime factorization separately you'll find I mean you'll find the prime factorization of these numbers all together so you have 4 and 8 write 4 comma 8 this vertical line and then this horizontal line okay start from the smallest prime number that can divide either 4 or 8 or both of them so what will be the prime number smallest prime number that can divide any one of them or both of them so you will say of course 2 so if you divide 2 by 4 by 2 then the quotient will be 2 and is 8 also divisible by 2 you will say yes and this will be 4 put comma here then again you have 2 2 is a prime number so again it will be divided by 2 and the quotient will be 1 is 4 divisible by 2 you will say yes 4 is divisible by 2 and you will get the quotient 2 here again put comma now you you have got 1 here just you know forget about it focus on this one you have 2 here which prime number it can divide you will say again 2 so 1 and just write copy 1 here okay as it is I mean you need not to divide it so put comma here now you have got one quotient 1 for this one you have got quotient 1 for this one that means both of these numbers have been divided and you have now 2 2 2 now your least common multiple will be the multiplication of these prime numbers LCM will be 2 times 2 times 2 and this will be 8 so you can see that what LCM you are getting here is the same what you got here using the prime factorization separately okay now the second one in this case we saw that I mean we calculated that the least common multiple of 35 49 70 after calculating their prime factorization separately we got that the LCM is 490 now applying the method that we have applied here right so same method we are going to find a prime factorization only a uh, uh, method uh, using prime factorization method only but you will find them all together so write 35 here then comma 49 then comma 70 this vertical line this horizontal line now starting from the least smallest uh, prime number just check whether 
is there any number that can be divided by that smallest prime number and that is 2 so you will see that 35 cannot be divided by 2 49 cannot be divided by 2 you will say 70 can be divided by 2 so 2 you cannot divide 35 so write it as it is write 49 as it is and then come on this one so this is 70 the quotient will be 35 because if you divide 70 by 2 the quotient will be 35 now come here any number that can be divided by the prime number 2 no what can be the next prime number that can divide either any one of them or two of them or all three of them so 3 is a possibility no 3 cannot divide 35 3 cannot divide 49 what else 5 yes 5 can divide it so 5 here and then you have 7 as a quotient you cannot divide 49 by 5 so write it down as it is and then 35 you'll get again 7 now you're left here with 7 49 and 7 now of course you'll see that which prime 5 cannot divide 7 5 cannot divide 49 5 cannot divide 7 which next prime number uh, can divide either any one of them or two of them or all of them so you say that hey only 7 because 7 is a prime number and the next prime number after 5 is 7 so check for 7 and you'll get here 1 you'll get here 7 as a quotient and you'll get 1 here right again you have 7 so again it can be divided by 7 so 7 you have 1 here just write it down here as it is 7 here so 1 as a quotient and 1 here so you have got 1 1 1 that is all the numbers have been finally divided and you have got all the quotient as 1 so what will be your LCM here so LCM will be 2 times 5 times 7 times 7 okay and you can just check that the one you are getting here and the one that you got here so 2 times 5 times 7 times 7 right this will again come 490 only and this is same what we got here right so here you calculated separately the prime factorization but here you are using the prime factorization method and just calculating much in a faster way come to the third one the last one we had we have 8 12 and 18 right 8 12 and 18 this vertical line this horizontal line so again it can be divided by 2 so 4 here then 6 here then 9 here right again by 2 so 2 here by 3 here by 9 I mean you cannot divide 9 by 2 so write it down as it is then you have 2 here so 2 1 you cannot divide 3 by 2 so write it down as it is then write down 9 now you have 3 so you have 1 here no need to worry about it just write it down here this is 3 you'll get 1 here this is 9 if you not divide 9 by 3 you'll get 3 as a quotient so now again by 3 so this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 because if you divide 3 by 3 you'll get the quotient as 1 now what will be your LCM your LCM will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 just check what we had done in the part 1 of the video part 1 video uh, part 1 of the video series on this one and what you are getting here same thing right and if you calculate it will again get 72 as the LCM and it is same as we had calculated in the previous video so you can easily see that this method is much easier and you know you can calculate the LCM much faster